You can see, this is a true commercial truck chassis on this Super C. I just love this, and not all coaches do this. Touch of one button, I mean, it's awesome. Love driving the Super Cs. It just feels like you're driving a nice pickup. It feels really comfortable. Okay. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV, and behind us we have a Super C. Very popular for good reason. You get a lot for your money. Behind us, it's a 2023 Dynamax DX3. We're gonna take you on a full exterior and interior tour. So this is one of the Super C's that we get a lot of requests to do reviews on. This is actually the first time we're doing a review of the DX3. We've done a lot of reviews on Renegade, which is the uh, competitive model to this or manufacturer, as well as some other ones out there. But you get a lot for your money. We took a, a walk around before we did this video. Very impressive what we see here. We'll talk about pricing and what you get for that pricing toward the end of this video. So let's start right up front, guys. First of all, big thing, this is on a true commercial truck chassis, Freightliner M2106 chassis. Namely, it's going to give you a Cummins 8.9 liter ISL turbo diesel. So let's go right up front, guys. Kind of hard because these are tight, but if you can get in there, you see there's like this nice uh, mesh plated out polished chrome grill. I really like that. Of course, super easy to maintain these. Big thing with the Super C, you're going to get a comfortable ride. It's very stable going down the road. You have a large towing capacity, 20,000 pounds on this and easily serviceable and easily towable by truck companies or any kind of truck repair shop. So everything would be right up front over here. So up front, you're gonna see the leaf springs, very typical on a Super C of this size, and the rear will have air suspension. Also, you have the big Michelins up front, 275, 80, 22 and a half inch wheels with those tires on it. Now you may notice this nice paint, very different, nice design on it. You can see some of the graphics. This is full body paint. This is a Dean Laux design. Dean Laux did not paint this. This is one of his designs though, and is exclusive to the Dynamax. On the passenger side, you see two Two large metal steps. You see a lot of competitors, they use a fiberglass. This is metal, this is heavy duty. You have your truck style mirrors. And of course, on the Super Cs, one of the big things are you have access, look how high you have to go up here. Access to this cab, right below, dual fuel fill. This is 100 gallons of diesel fuel. So it will take you down the road for a decent amount of time. Now you see up front, you have the large front cab. You'll see when you go inside, how that gives you a little bit of extra space uh, for sleeping people. You have your cameras here, blindside cameras, both driver and passenger side. So you can see going down the road. Those are activated with your signals for the most part. You hit the signal right, it will activate the camera so you can see anybody in your blind spot. Another nice feature, something at this price point, you have the key pad entry to get inside. You have a Dynamax grab handle. This does light up at night. It is lit up right now. You can't really see it because it's light out. And then just a little bit of attention, guys. They use that pain protector around the areas that would be uh, susceptible to scratching. That is also completely up front on the hood. You have that paint protection. Another nice feature on something at this price point, look at this up top full Gerard awnings. It will open up really almost the whole length of the passenger side. Entertainment system, doors are pretty heavy. This is where a little bit saving money, you have the Insignia TV, but quite honestly, guys, it's a TV. Does it really matter that much? That could be swapped out if you want on your own, probably for a lot less than if you upgraded from the manufacturer. Now, large aluminum doors. You can see how they finish it out in a plastic. So very easy to clean. It's not full pass-through storage because you do have that drive shaft that runs from the front to rear. So there's no Super C that's gonna give you that full true pass-through storage like a Class A, but there's a lot of advantages to having a Super C. Let's go to bay number two, and you can see it's filled with chairs and signs, but again, pass-through storage, but not like that full deep pass-through storage, but there's plenty of room in here, guys. You can still carry a lot on here with that 20,000 pound tow hitch. You can carry a lot in a trailer on the rear. Large, large fresh water tank. That's gonna be bay number three. You see the one slide, this is gonna be in the bedroom. I, I like this how you have what, this. This is what I need. I'm MJ definitely done. needs this. <laughs> now you can see I'm about almost 6'1". This, this is tall because it's on the, again, on the, the true 106 M2 Freightliner chassis. This is a much larger chassis. Bay number four, stored up with some more junk in here, but quasi pass-through storage. 
bay number five, Aquahot 400D hydronic heating. You'll see some of the competitors, they'll have the smaller 250. Now that, that doesn't work, but this is gonna put out more BTUs. If you're not familiar with the hydronic system, endless hot water, as well as your furnace, both diesel and electric fired, really, uh, higher end coaches have that and then the final bay you do have kind of like that semi pasture storage so some people want to, might want to know what the capacities are regarding the uh water so you have 100 gallons on the fresh 52 on the gray and then 52 also on the black so let's go to the rear all leds tail lights marker lights you have a rear view camera it actually looks like it's a dual rear view camera you see one pointing straight back one pointing down so it's going to help you hitch up it's going to help you when you're parking more led lights here here's your 20,000 pound tow hitch and then your seven pin connector and then again over here you see 375 horsepower 1050 foot pounds of torque now we have never driven per se this super c but we have driven super c's and they handle like a dream some people say they're noisy up front it's not any noisier than what we have but the handling going down the road is absolutely amazing so let's continue down on the driver's side here's the other side of that pasture storage we showed you a little bit before one little knock on this i'm not liking how i don't know why they don't open all the way it's a little strange not not going to affect what you can get in and out here's some other features guys that a, a lot for your money you have a macerator system whole house filtration all your controls are right here they give you a cargo light control here outdoor shower power on the uh, fresh water hose so that's always a nice thing next bay power 50 amp reel you have your own in 8,000 watt generator. That will be diesel fire generator. Plenty of power for this. There'll be two AC units on this motorhome. Double slide going to be on the driver's side. Let's go on to the next bay. Well lit is just a little bit of storage there. Next bay. Now here's a nice thing that you get on here. You have two lithium batteries over here. I don't know the exact size. They are not on slide out trays. That would have been a nice feature, but you do have lithium on here. And then you have your two house, I'm sorry, your two chassis batteries that are going to get this big boy or big girl started. And then your final bay, you have your 3000 watt go power inverter and then all your wiring that kind of uh, terminates right Which over here. Which is actually tied up nicely. And yeah, it definitely did a, a pretty good job on that. And then here's going to be your DEF fill. And according to the specs, it's six gallons of DEF. So I am done on the outside. MJ is gonna take you on the inside, full tour, then we'll give you a price at the end. Before MJ takes you on an interior tour, we just wanna show you something. We're out here, basically in a parking lot. <laughs> and look at these leveling jacks, guys. What are they on? They are on a wood. Slab of wood. You don't have to live that way. <laughs> that is not necessary. There is a better way. And why is that? We want to thank the official sponsor of this video, RV Snap Pads. And what are RV Snap Pads? Well, they're the world's only permanent jack pad. You can put them on your motorhome one time and you're done. That was one of our first purchases when we had Nelly, probably approaching years four ago. years ago. We still have the same original pair and we don't have to have those ugly wooden blocks that we right. drive around with. Right, as Izzy said, they're permanent, so it's not off, on, off, on. Increased stability for each of your landing feet. It's gonna give you added protection for those jack feet from any type of bending or damage. It's gonna help on those soft surfaces. We like to boondock if you're on grass or dirt and mud things. Asphalt. Yeah, it, you know, that too. It's gonna help you from sinking and it's gonna give you protection from indirect lightning strikes. Some of the great things about RV snap pads, they're made in the USA, 100% recycled materials. They always give discounts to first responders and military. However, if you don't fall into one of those categories, we have a discount code. Which is Endless10. It's going to get you 10% off, which is actually probably going to be cheaper than it is at the show. Mm -hmm. Guys, there's no need to walk around with blocks like that. I mean, <laughs> if you do, you do, but that's, that, okay. that's like yep. old school. Go check them out. If you have a motorhome, any kind of RV, they'll have something for you. All right, come on inside, guys. It's a little chilly this morning, so it's nice to be in here. All right, so let's start out right when you enter. You have a closet right here, nice size closet. You got a 110 outlet in there. There's no hooks. That would be cool. You can add that easy, though. Little storage up here and then up above. And you have a sound bar here as well. It's going to be for your TV. It's actually over the kitchen. Here you have a nice large bunk, okay, with windows on either side. That's a good size bunk. That's very large. And you'll have your ladder that attaches here. Cab is nice and roomy. Again, we love driving the Super C's. It just feels like you're driving a nice pickup. It feels really comfortable. Can you show them how you fit in here? Sure. No problem getting in. It's great. Ah, nice. 
Nice big steering wheel. Air horn up on I the left it. there. Yep, it's real comfortable. Got a nice large screen here. Very comfy. One thing I uh, failed to mention, if you see over here, you have the uh, mobile eye lane, lane keeping yeah, the lane and lane mitigation. So that's okay. uh, definitely a nice safety feature. Let's move on. So now the floor, I'm going to tell you what this, they call this rigid core LV tile with soft silence acoustical pad. It, it feels like, it's, I guess it's not tile, but it, it sure feels no, like it. it's this special. That's yeah, a fancy type, way to say yes, it is. I just wanted to read that for you. So let's head into the living area here. So you have two theater seats, nice and comfortable theater seats with two storage compartments up above. They're carpeted and they are all, you have hidden hinges. These are all soft clothes, which are really nice. Right across from your TV. So you have, they're using insignia TVs on this. The kitchen area, you have an extension on your counter. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to waste time doing that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so you have that extension there. You're going to have a double stainless steel sink with your residential gooseneck faucet here with your sprayer. A lot of counter space here. What I do like, they have this LED lighting that goes around the edge. Beautiful backsplash, solid surface countertops. You've got a true induction cooktop, two burners here. And then you're going to have your convection microwave oven. Good size. Plenty. I'm not going to open every cabinet, but you do have plenty of storage space. The garbage can area. I do like the way, and this was out, uh, actually up there too. All the lights, they're these nice blue LED Keep it simple. push button lights, yeah. right? I like that. One other observation, uh, all the venting is all up high. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing Again, actually on the floor. Right. Beautiful residential fridge here. You do have an ice maker in this one, which is nice. This Somebody is a, had their tropical this, cafe. Yeah, this is a large fridge. This is a Samsung. And then here's your kitchen pantry, which you have very deep drawers and a you know, big shelf that goes quite deep back there. Now we've been on some other ones. How do you rate kind of the woodwork? It's good. It's sturdy. When you, when you open these, it's not flimsy at all. It's got some, I know I said this before, some girth to it. <laughs> and you got, you know, the, the hinges, everything it's quality. It feels, feels good. Okay, so here's another sleep. So you have the bunk, then you have this nice dinette here, which will turn into a bed also. More windows outside. You got your nice valances here. And the woodwork is really nice. I guess there's no LEDs up here. No, that unless we didn't miss them, but that I would have been cool. So. And then you have some more mini storage cabinets over here on the side. So Something I like in here, you have uh, both day Day and night shades, MCD, and they're manual, which I like because you, yes. I, I, right. I mean, there's powered ones, but manual is just easier. Right. And they don't break, really. <laughs> so again, this is a large slide here. You have carpeted it all the way down. Is it a shagadelic? It's not shaggy, no, but it's carpet. I mean, here's your one AC unit, and then you do have a fan right above in this um, room. Then moving down, you're going to have washer dryer. You can option not to get that and have a full closet here. You have the hanging rod for your clothes. So a nice mini laundry room there. Then you're going to have your half bath. So you have a uh, porcelain toilet there with the push button flush. Again, going with the LED lights. I like this. The Berkshires do this too. Well, this it's is the same thing, product, right? Same yeah. thing, but not all of them do it. But I love that look. Especially if you want, if you're watching a movie out there and you turn all the lights off and you just have that on. So you have the a large medicine cabinet here. So that's a lot of space and that goes actually back too. Oh, more here. Keep some towels and things up there. So that's a good size for a half bath. All right. So here's your control panel before you head into the bedroom. So where you can control all your, your lights, you're going to do your slot, your slides levels. You'll be able to see your, your tanks and things like that. So you're all controlled right from there. Then moving into the bedroom, you have a nice king size bed here with cabinets up above. You got those great reading lights. A lot of them are putting those lights in there now. And again, you have on this, on the one side, you have your light controls right there. Push of a button. Here's a uh, little power tower. You got your USBs here and GFCI outlets. Nice windows surrounding the bed. And again, all your lights here, which is great. Actually, I just want to check. I'm sure there's, there's a... Uh, you got That's where your water Yeah, your water, that, that was the fresh mm -hmm. water, yeah. And then across the way, you're going to have two wardrobes here. On either side, you have another Insignia TV with your sound bar. So you have three TVs on this coach. Nice. That okay. dovetail, no. Yeah. But they are all soft clothes, which is good. There's water bottles in here. And cedar lined. And you have a ton of drawers in here all the way around fit plenty of your clothes. Again, you got the carpeted slide there. And then you have your second AC right here. So going into the bathroom now, this is a spacious, spacious bathroom. You've got a double sink here, which is great. All solid service countertops all the way through. Really, really nice. I like the little glisten they have in there. 
um, another large medicine cabinet. So you have two, even the half bath, plenty of places between the two to keep all your items. And then you have a little a towel ring here and a towel bar, which is great. Plenty of room underneath. Hey, okay, all little drawers there. I like, you know, all the faucets and everything are nice. They're not cheap looking. More storage up here. Okay, here's your second fan up above. And then you have your second toilet. The other one had this too, like this little, you know, you could put box of tissues or whatever there. You have some space there to work with to put things. Then you're gonna have, here's a fiberglass shower. And this is actually gonna come with the oxygenics, which we have at home, which yeah. is, it's nice to save water. Say you're boondocking or whatever, and you don't wanna, although, this has a bigger water tank than we do. That's did. almost an automatic upgrade. Right, right. Yeah, right when we did that early on. So that's that's good. They give you that here. You know, this is a nice uh, nice setup here with the uh, the sprayer and everything. And it's a roomy shower also. And then just finishing up here with a large linen closet that you can keep all your towels, bath products in. And it's got a full-size mirror, which we don't have. And we still need to figure out how we're going to do that on our RV. Because, you know, when you're getting dressed, you need to check yourself out. So before we give you the price, I just love this. And not not all coaches do this well they'll give you the individual lights you know so here's the grab handle light whatever the, the cargo all that okay stereo lights entry step entry lights but th this one and some others do this you do master and it's just all out it's touch of one button i mean it's awesome and then you have the panel and then you have the lights in the bedroom too it just makes it easier so you may be wondering what is the msrp on this what is the sale price and what actual floor plan we're kind of leaving that to the end for you so i'm gonna be like uh I feel like I'm on Let's Make a Deal. Remember they used to open the briefcases? Well, this is not a briefcase, but <laughs> I'm going to show you the price here. So, so let's tell a floor plan. It's a 2022 Dynamax DX 337 RB. RB. So the show price, the MSRP is actually not on here, but the show price is $359,988. There's, there there's some, some of the specs. specs. Yep. Anything you want to know about this, like we told you earlier. And Dylan's is representing Dynamax here at the show. <laughs> which is now part of Campers Inn. So, do you like this? What do you, do you like this? Would you get this or Renegade? Um, now, I know now you're thinking because I know you like this. Well, this the Renegade, what we like will be like the Verona LE. LA. They have the Verona, which is probably competitively priced. I think this is actually nicer than the Verona. The Verona LE is nicer, but it's like $60,000 more, which yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's worth that. This is a really nice coach. I really like this. Again, some things are a little bit different. Mm -hmm. I think the uh, Renegade has better fit and finish mm -hmm. on the woodwork. Mm -hmm as well as the doors so you're but, paying for but two. the skeleton is the same right and there's a lot of nice options on here too you're getting a lot of perks on this and this is really popular yeah. so in the comments below let us know what do you think about this coach first time we're actually looking at this more in more detail we yeah. really like it we yeah. think it's valued for the money it, it's pretty nice so put in the comments below and for myself and mj's a journey of a lifetime and we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the road, road.